Hello everyone, this video I will show you how to debug the AT command of GSM module. So you can see this is 2G module and this is 4G module. So the different module you can use for your country. Because uh, this time I will use this 4G module because in my city there are no 2G signal and the single 2G signal is stopped to use. So this time we can see this we have designed the new version that is 1.2 version of A8S board. So that uh, this socket uh, is for 2G module, you can install it directly. And this time we have updated this socket and for the 4G module. So this time you can install this 4G module on the A8 board directly. So that will be convenient to use. Okay, let's look at how to install the hardware and then we can send command uh, by the software, by the Arduino code. And at first, you need to prepare the SIM card. Uh, this is SIM card, this is my SIM card. I get from my mobile phone. But it can't insert to it directly because it's, it's too small. So you need to use this adapt uh, this adapt that changes small to big so i can just put this card and into this adapt so that the card will be a little large and now we can open this socket i can open this and you can see this direction and insert put on this socket and just hold down and turn the left and will be lock this SIM card and now you can see there are two interface that for GSM and this is for GPS uh, this this is a GPS antenna but this time I will not use this one that is for uh, get the GPS date and I only use for this antenna so I can use this uh, for debug will be easy just like this that is soft uh, this antenna is soft and you can stick to anywhere and stick to the box so I just uh, connect with it you can see here but also you can install like this uh, black antenna so that will extend the antenna just change this line uh, for the SMA interface will install this one so you can see I can install on the board uh, just like this and you can see here and here and there are two screws uh, this two screw one two and I can install it okay that will be fixed uh, this module will be have a good contact okay this is the hardware that is easy uh, to install the card and the forge module here is the interface that is the USB for Android phone cable just uh, like this one you can connect it uh, and this to your compute directly so that can debug the AT command but this time we will use this type C and uh, go through this ESP32 module and send a command to this module directly so we will send AT command to this top type C so I will use this cable type C and before testing, we will download the Arduino code to this ESP32 module so that we will let this module and this type C uh, server port will communication directly. So you can see now I can power on of this board. Okay, let's look at the computer. When you power on, uh, wait for a moment, uh, the green LED will be blink. Uh, that is successfully the SIM card is registered with your internet service so that will be work fine then prepare to test the software okay let's look at this lesson 33 that we have named how to debug the AT 
CASE868A is part just a module used by AT command, uh, so that we have just some commonly used AT command that like this, make a call and receive a call and um, receive a message and send a message. This is SMS, that means the short message. So you can see here some Arduino code and the document and the debug toy I have already prepared for you. So the first you can download this Arduino code. So just this one. And this code is very easy. Just let the two server part because the GSM module is a server part. And this also have a server part. We just let the communication work with each other directly. Uh, this have a delay function. I can disable it because the speed will be fast. So you can click download. And this will begin to compile and download. And you can see here that have some documents of the AT command. Uh, so you can see many details AT command of this same COM module. This module AT command details. And also you can see that is a tool, just this tool. Uh, that is uh, for debug COM port for communication send and receive message. That will be easy. Okay, let's look at here. Uh, you can see that is downloaded by 100%, uh, so it's complete. And this time we can close this window. Uh, we never use this Arduino code. Okay, you can see here. Now we can begin to use this COM port COM3. Uh, just let this board connect to your computer directly. So you can see I can Repower on, just the power off and the power on. Uh, you can see I can open this COM port that it comes through. And you can see this is feedback, the AT command, because the module is start up. So there are some AT command will be feedback. And you can see the green LED is blink. Uh, so that will be ready. At first, we can use this, the first one, that just input AT. So we can input here AT and enable this yellow, uh, check this box. And we can send, just click this, sorry, this is a toy made by Chinese language, but it's very convenient to use. So you can see I can click AT, that will be OK. So you can see I can extend this menu. There are many commands have created, so that will be very easy to test in your module and not need to always input input. So this is 80, that will be feedback OK. So your module is OK now. Now we can make a call. Just uh, you can let this board and uh, telephone you. Input uh, this one, ATD command, that replace for your mobile phone number. So you can see, I can replace uh, this is my mobile phone number. And uh, we can click send. And you can see this is OK. Uh, see my mobile phone? Wait for a moment. And you can see that is coming. That is, I have renamed uh, this case 868 bird that is coin. So I can uh, turn off or turn on. So you can see I can like this. That is uh, receive this call. If your module have connected with the microphone, so that I can uh, hear that voice of this bird. So I can disconnect. So this is very easy. Just uh, make a coin. OK, you can see the three, that will be receive call. So if you want, let your mobile phone and uh, make a call to your board. So you can see what command will be received. So you can see I can press this A8S board. You can see that is telephone calling. And you can see here the command raining. That is always raining, raining, raining. So you can use this it command to hang up or answer the, the phone. If you don't want to receive this phone, so you can copy this command. 
and paste that here, and you can press send. Okay. 您好，您拨叫的用户正忙，请您稍后再拨。Sorry. So it will be speaker. The phone is busy now because I have. Uh, I have uh, used this command, so you can see that is a missed call from this mobile phone number. So this is receive a call and make a call. Okay, let's look at this receive a message, short message. If I can use this board, you can see I can send a short message. I send a ABC to this A8S board. You can see I can send. That have send A B C, and you can see this window with Vermont. Uh, you can see here that have received a short message. That in two is number two. Uh, this is because I have already have received the first one SMS. This is second. So. This have received the ID is two. So if you want to see this SMS content, so you can see that is received the message that is number two. So if you want to read this number of the content, so you can just copy this command, copy and paste here, and change to number two. If you have received the three, you can change the three. If you have received the four, that you can change the four. So now I can send this number two. Uh, so you can see here, that is the content, the message. The message I'll read, uh, send from this mobile phone, and uh, send from this date, and send from this time. And you can see this is content A, B, C. So this you can read the short message content uh, from this AT command. Okay. If you want delete this short message, because if you always send a message, send a message, send a message, this SIM card will be full. Okay, if you want to delete this short message, so you can use this command and copy and paste that I want to send delete number two short message. So I can send this command. Okay, you can see that number two is delete. So this time you can, uh, if you have used this mobile phone, send the message to this board. That will always also show this uh, number two, because number two, all the, all the version of number two is delete. And this can read all content, all message content. And this command can read, uh, delete all message. So by one command. So this will be useful and clear and empty your SMS. Okay, let's look at this. This is a useful function, send a message. Just use this board to send a message uh, to your mobile phone, uh, such, such as sometimes you can read the uh, temperature sensor and uh, read the release date and send the message to the mobile phone. So you can see how to send a message. Uh, the first, we need to use this command and send, set the message test mode to test. Just copy and uh, paste and you can see send that way okay set okay okay now you can see where to send just need to input the message send to where send to which mobile phone phone number okay this we can send to this mobile phone you can press press send and we will we'll see this and you can input uh, the command you can see now this time is very important uh, just you can see this is a test message from King Kong. okay you can press send the message is defined we will be send this but now it's not stopped at last we need to finish this command just use send a this hex code of 1a so you can send here 1a that used by send hex mode uh, just click this one hex mode you can press send okay you can see now this is display okay and my message uh, in the mobile phone you can see here that have received uh, this is a tacit message from King Kong. 
So this will be easy to receive the message from this bird. Okay. So you can see here is very useful function. Uh, make a call, receive a call, and send a message, and uh, receive a message. In, uh, you can download all the tools and documentation from this website. In the next video, I will show you how to use SMS message, control this relay, and the lead relay state, and uh, make some useful function for your project. Okay, thanks for watching.